Hi. I want to visualize where I was a few weeks before, uh, a few weeks ago. I take you to a place where you can feel the pressure of a big challenge. You know, it will take a lot of you. It will ask everything you have in yourself, and you need to push hard to reach your goal. Visualize that you are in a vehicle. The top is going to close and it will tape, tape shut. You feel the shell around you and it's cold. But you know when you start, it will be uncomfortable hot in, the, in your vehicle. You focus on the race. You feel your heartbeat is going up. You turn, up off, you turn on the switch, and inside the bike, two screens light up. On that screen, you see the road ahead. On that road, it has to happen. Now you are in a small place, I can describe it as you are in a carbon cocoon without the windows, screens before you, and there is a team beside you where you have to train a lot, all month, to be in this moment. You take a deep breath and concentrate on the race. Last radio check. The communication works. One of the team members asks you, are you ready? You doubt for a second. Am I ready? Of course you're ready, yes. This is where you trained for so long, and it has to happen in this five minutes. The pusher sets you upright the road and push you to the start line. You feel exciting. The adrenaline is pumping through your body. The pusher starts to count. Three, two, one, push! You force, off you go. This was where you was in. And I think the visual visualization is clearer when you see the bike where I was in a few weeks ago. I was there in Nevada because I joined Eight months ago, a project that's called the Human Power Project. And as you can see, when you're in the bike, it's very claustrophobic, very small, and you need to, to do a great effort. You need to push yourself to the limit in that small, sweaty place. Here, here's the team, the Human Power team. I was selected eight months ago out of 70 female cyclists to join the human power team. We did tests and I was selected as the one. I can clearly remember that they called me and asked me, do you want to uh, break the world human power speed record? How often in life ask someone you ask someone you to break a world record? I see this as a as a as an opportunity, as a possibility. The moment that you realize I am possible, 
This project is a combination of the University of Amsterdam and the Technical University Delft. It's a unique project because of the technical parts and the human power. You see, mostly I say, I'm only a part of the bike, I'm just the engine. It's the important part, but all the parts need to, need to be perfect to go to high speed. And I even talked about the weather conditions. The air pressure, the wind, everything needs to be perfect to reach your goal. And also, you need to train hard. I started training on the recumbent bike instead of my usual racing bike. But also, training in the Velox, the Velox 4, is completely different. So we started to train with a team. It was hard for the whole team to, to get used to each other and to get to the results we wanted to go. You see, <laughs> it went not always that smoothly. <laughs> but at the end, my end result was I am the third fastest woman of the world. With, <laughs> with 110, with 110 kilometers an hour. But of course, a sporter as me, the only place that counts is number one. So next year, I want to train again, push myself harder, be better. And the last thing I want to say is, it always seems impossible until it's done.